Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. In this episode we're going to work out the oxidation states of elements combined together in a compound. To do this we're going to look at the different rules for working out oxidation states before looking at several examples. This is the first video of AQA topic 1.7 redox reactions and is on paper one of your final exams. If you haven't already I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel to help it grow. Many of you will have already seen this at GCSE but it's fundamental to our understanding of this topic and lots of topics that we're going to encounter later on in the course. So oxidation is where an atom loses electrons and reduction is where an atom gains electrons. This is often remembered as oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. To work out if an atom has been oxidized or reduced, we can work out its oxidation state. This is simply how many electrons it's gained or lost when it formed a chemical compound. And it's usually worked out by looking at other elements in the compounds and applying a set of rules. So if we look at zinc combining with chlorine to make zinc chloride, zinc has an oxidation state of plus two and the chlorine has an oxidation state of minus one. A positive oxidation state shows that the atom has lost electrons and been oxidized, while a negative oxidation state shows the atom has gained electrons and been reduced. There are a set of rules that allow us to work out the oxidation states of different atoms in compounds. Firstly, metals tend to lose electrons and non-metals tend to gain electrons. This is almost always the case, but there are also a few exceptions. The following rules are used for elements combined into compounds. Group one elements are oxidized to an oxidation state of plus one. Group two elements are oxidized to be plus two and aluminium is oxidized to be plus three. Looking at our non-metals then, group seven is reduced to be minus one and oxygen is reduced to be minus two. We then have the transition metals. These can have variable oxidation states and we'll look at this in more detail in our transition metal topic in the second year. Any element which is uncombined has an oxidation state of zero and any uncombined ion will have the oxidation state equal to the charge on that ion. Now with all good rules in chemistry there are a few exceptions. Hydrogen which is usually plus one will become minus one in a metal hydride such as sodium hydride. Oxygen which is usually minus two, will become minus one in a peroxide, such as hydrogen peroxide. And finally, chlorine, which is usually minus one, will take on a positive value in compounds with oxygen and fluorine, such as the chlorate ion. So I'm now gonna go through six examples in turn. You might want to pause the video and have a go yourself before hearing the answers. In the first example of HCl, and we know from our rules that hydrogen is gonna be plus one, so chlorine in this case will be minus one. This is also given as a rule, so this is one of the more straightforward examples. Next, we'll look at hydrogen peroxide. We'll first look at the hydrogen from our rules and we'll know that to be plus one. And there are two of them together, so that will combine together to make plus two. There are two oxygens here now, and they must add up together to make minus two, but individually, they'll be minus one. This is one of the exceptions to the rules, with oxygen being present in a hydroxide. Now looking at copper oxide. Oxygen from our rules will be minus two and there are two coppers combined, which will be plus two, and therefore individually they'll be plus one. Now we'll look at the carbonate ion. Oxygen from the rules will be minus two, and because there's three of them, this will be minus six overall. We then need to consider the minus two charge on the ion overall, and this will mean that carbon will have an oxidation state of plus four. Looking at the chlorate ion then, oxygen here again is minus two. There are four of them, so that gets us to minus eight. But with the ion having a minus charge on it, it will mean that chlorine will be plus seven. This is one of those exceptions that we talked about as chlorine is bonded here to the oxygen and has a positive oxidation state. And then finally, we're gonna look at sulfuric acid. We know hydrogen here is plus one and there's two of them, which gives us plus two. We also know that oxygen here is minus two. There are four of those and that gives us minus eight, which leaves sulfur here with an oxidation state of plus six. In summary then, we need to remember oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Oxidation states show if an atom has lost or gained electrons. The positive oxidation state shows that it's lost electrons and the negative oxidation state shows that it's gained electrons. And then of course, there's all the rules and exceptions for each of the different elements. Thanks for watching this episode of Bale's Chemistry. For more Redox videos, click up here. And if you haven't already, click down here to subscribe.